What up, Last TV? This is Graymar. And here I'm going to experiment with setting up the SEALS M18A1 Claymore Anti Personnel Airsoft Device. Alright, time for a little review of the Claymore device itself. Alright, so basically I mainly have the I mainly have this for looks and it looks pretty darn cool. And I can't wait to use this in a game to where I get to pull it off as per its intended use. But in my opinion, you're better off trying to uh, make your own Claymore device out of like a rat trap or something like that. Something that'd be much cheaper. Um, and you can you can paint you can paint those yourself. Obviously, they're a lot less exp uh, a lot less expensive. Um, I have a friend of mine who uh, made a uh, claymore to where he had a 12 gauge shotgun blank. You know, of course, it was non-lethal, but when you ran across it, uh, it boom! Just uh, it was awesome. And this and this was in an old abandoned meat factory, so. Uh, if you make your own, you have a lot of different customization options available for a cheaper price. But, I mean, I I've misplaced the uh, remote control, but with these devices, you do have that option uh, where you don't with the home with those uh, wooden homemade devices. But basically, what a Claymore is, is just you going, Fah! and that's it. You might as well just uh, reach your hand into a bucket of BBs and do that. But, anyways, without further ado, let's get into the device. Alright, so, uh, the way this basically works is there's, uh, there's this spring-loaded trap right here that, once the trigger is pulled, it flashes open like that. I'll give a little demonstration here. But before I get to that demonstration, here are the legs. This is the one that's stationary, and these two, you can you'll, you can try and stick them into the ground as best as you can. But more than likely, uh, more likely than anything, they'll be at a right angle with the main leg here, which this is going to be the main thing, uh, the main thing of support. But they fold under, uh, but they fold under like this for easy storage. Um, now, this, this Velcro and this bungee retention stuff did not come with the, with the device. That's just a modification that I've done myself. Uh, but for a top secret project that I'm working on. But anyways, here's how you arm, uh, arm the device. Uh, now, the hard, uh, the hard way of putting your BBs in is you just put a, a handful of BBs in this trap and then just make and then once and then once the canvas is folded as much as it can it's supposed to hold as many of the BBs in as possible some of them will fall down uh, some of them will fall down into that reservoir but most of them for uh, most of them will stay in that trap and be able to spread out all right uh, now and that's the hardest part of putting BBs in here. In just a second, I'll show you the easiest part. But anyways, this is the hardest part of arming this mother frickin' device. I'm right-handed, so I find it easier to flip it around like this. All right, now I've got the I've got the front pressed down as far as I can. So there's this there's this little lever here, uh, and there's a little tiny lever that you might that you'll see right there. Now, once you've got this fully compressed, uh, jiggle uh, jiggle the actual trigger around as much as uh, much as you need to to uh, get this moving loosely. But anyways, once you got it all the way down, push it down. All right, it's ready to go right now. Your safety is uh, this little is this little thing. It'll go right here. Now you may not be able to see it on camera, but there's a rounded edge there. 
you want to stick that round uh, you want to and if you're looking at this right here you want to stick it uh, down here like like this all right now it's now it's safe the trigger will not go off all right now and then see the rounded edge it, it pulls out smoother now if you were to stick it in the other way it might get it's happened before but it might get stuck but this will still stay solid enough on here to wear it'll stay in. Now it's armed and ready to go. And once it's pulled, it goes off. Now, as now if you have the uh, remote items, the batteries uh, go in here. I believe it takes uh, AA batteries, but I haven't opened it up yet to take a look. And here's your switch to where you turn on the remote control and a red light will turn on when it's ready. It's it's supposed to be, uh, you're, with the remote, you're supposed to be able to control between two to four devices uh, simultaneously. Um, now, I do not have that remote. Uh, the person who sold this to me, I don't, I believe they misplaced it, so I'm only able to use it as a tripwire device. Uh, but I wonder if there's a way that you can go online to find out like what frequency this is on and make your and make your own remote control device if you're um, handy like that. Uh, these springs are are really strong, so be ready to have some strength to hold this down. Now I mentioned earlier that th I was using the hard way to load the BBs, and there's an easy way. There's this hole right here to where you can take your speed loader and load the BBs into the trap for your for your convenience. Disarming the device, you're basically going to have to do a, a controlled detonation. Um, so, best way uh, if if the owner uh, if you come across a device and let's say that it's um, that it's not yours and you're on the opposing team and you come across it like uh, likely uh, the owner of this is going to have the safety pin on their person or they may have it attached to the claymore device somehow so that they do not lose it and uh, for the safety of the other players who are wise to uh, the trap that's set before them can disarm it safely without having to undo it. But anyways, basically, uh, take the rounded edge and uh, put the safety pin back in it. It's safe. Now, eventually, if, you're, if you've not used the BBs that are in it, you're going to have to do a controlled detonation. So, basically... Just gonna have to set it off. All right. It's basically the easiest way that the device sets off is the trigger is pulled in this direction and the lever lets up on this uh, re uh, release latch here. So basically, just slowly let the spring come up. And there you have it. All right, well, I will turn off the uh, battery there. And we'll have some video of this being set, uh, being set up and then triggering the device. What we're doing right now is we're going to set up the mine and we're going to set up a trip wire using 50 pound uh, stealth braid uh, spider wire uh, fishing line and we are going to see how much tension uh, needs to be put on the spider wire uh, 
and how much pressure needs to be applied in order to trigger the device. All right, guys, I think I'm ready. Are you? Yeah, let's do it. Yep, the wire wasn't like as tense. And by the time that I uh, started like getting to the point where one would trip over it, it, it would have been too late. All right, here we go. I got struck by uh, maybe uh, three BBs, but I definitely could tell. I mean, I'm only wearing a t-shirt right now, but there it go, there it went. All right, uh, so we've got the Claymore set up again, and I think it's a, it triggers a little bit easier if one comes across this way of the Claymore. So I am going to, uh, I set up the wire again and I'm gonna trigger it and I've got the white BBs in there so hopefully you'll get to see a little bit more of the spread ow Yep, it was a little bit easier to uh, trigger. So, that was fun. I'm gonna set it up again. All right, test firing again. <laughs> 